guys for checking out my channel. Today's video is going to be one of my favourite videos that I love watching here on YouTube and it's the makeup collection and storage. Everything's behind me here so you're going to get to see what's behind them and what's inside the drawers. So let's get into it. Hey guys, obviously today's video is going to be mostly me behind the camera but I'm going to show you obviously my organisation makeup drawer set and starting off I thought I would just do a little bit of an overview as you can see on the far left those are the IKEA Alex 9 drawers and then in the centre that's my little desk there that's the Mike small white desk so I thought I'd start off with what I've got on my Alex drawers and just to give you a bit of an overview we've got uh, my Yankee Candles wax tart on the bottom there these are some hair, uh, hair products and some skincare products at the back there there's my um, perfume set and just a bag at the back which is from Bershka and it just says Blog Your Dreams and it's one of my favourite ever clutch bags which I've actually never used just for the fact that it's just more of like a blog related thing and I just went crazy and just had to buy it last year. So I'm just going to go through, run down some things I've got on here. So a couple of Yankee candles here, um, just to show you a couple, this is the Snowflake Cookie, I've got the Vanilla Cupcake as well which is a lovely scent. I actually went a bit crazy with um, wax tarts this past couple of months and this is like my favourite Christmas cookie which I'm actually burning the medium jar on my desk as well at the moment. There's November rain and a couple of scents, like more summery scents depending on what kind of um, scent I actually want to burn. And there's even Merry Marshmallow which has been one of my favourite ones as well and you know you just can't have enough wax tarts in your house I think. Moving on to more hair products and stuff like that. These are basically, this is like a little stash of mine which I like to just literally just grab when I'm going to do my hair and stuff like that. Um, apart from all that, I've got my Bioderma Sensibio H2O. This is my favourite makeup remover. It removes everything, removes any waterproof, any whatever as you think you can think of. Philip Kinsley Dry Shampoo, Trevor Zorby um, Hair Protecting Spray. Um, I've got Frizzies, John Frieda, my brush, matte brush cleaner at the back. Some um, hairsprays here of John Fried. I've got one of Tony and Guy as well that was in the latest in beauty box. And I've got another hair protecting spray at the back. And behind all of these is a little stash here. This is basically a lush little bag here. But basically what I've got in here is I tend to, when I come to use all the wax starts and all that, I kind of cut them in half so I don't waste. And I've just cut, I've got a couple of like different um, wax start, half wax start. It's like I've got Christmas Eve in here. I've got salt with caramel. This one is Christmas Memories, which is one of my favourites as well. Um, just a couple of things there, just so I can always go back to them if I want to try a new one. And maybe half it, I can just pop it in here, and it's just at the back here. So on this tray, I like to just have my favourite um, perfumes that I'm loving at the moment. Um, starting off with. The Lady Gaga, um, that's the scent there. We've got the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday scent, which is gorgeous. Um, I've got a mini Chloe um, purse perfume there. I've got the two, these were the gift set. This is the two Chloe's. Um, I've got the Chloe perfume and the body lotion. I've got the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume. And at the back, we've got Lola there. And then I've just got a couple of body shop scents here that um, the fragrance oil that I, my oil burner just in case I want to like switch it up instead of using Yankee candles I can just use all of those and then at the back here I've just got my little um, clutch bag here from Bershka and it literally just says blog your dreams and it's this gorgeous highlight pink that I'm loving and I just thought it would look lovely there so that's where it's been hiding and that's what I've been saying so let's just get into the drawers now and I'm just going to show you some stash that I've got here in the UK. Okay so starting off with the first drawer, this is mainly my lip drawer. So on top here I've got all my lipsticks, I've got glosses on the side which is very little, um, lip balms and then I've got lip liners on the side. So I'm just going to show you um, a quicker easier view for you guys to see. Okay guys, so these are basically some of my lipsticks that I've got here in the UK. Um, I'm not going to brag or anything, I, don't, I do feel I've got more than I should own. But um, this is basically just a couple of things, a couple of items that I do have here that I managed to bring over from Malta and obviously some things are 
brand new that I bought here. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. Um, the boxes over here are basically from uh, the Senna lipsticks. I've got a couple of MAC lipsticks here. I've got um, one of my favourite L'Oreal um, Color Riche um, lipsticks, that's the Rose to Feta. Um, two limited edition um, I think it's limited. I think that was Liberty of London um, Mac glosses. I've got Calvin Klein lipstick there. I've got some Body Shop Color Crush lipsticks. Just along here that you can't really see are the Barry M lips, the paints as well. I've just got a couple of those there. Um, some lip balms and lip smackers here that are just lovely. They were in a, I think they were in a set of about 10 and I've now just got maybe 4. I don't have many of those left but I've been using them for ages. I've got just a couple of Catrice. Um, I've got 2 lipsticks from Makeup Store. Um, this is my favourite NYX lipstick that you been guys have seen me all over Twitter and Instagram and everything. I've got some Inglot um, lipsticks. One of my, probably my brightest lipstick that I've got in here is this one I actually used to wear for work when I used to work there and it's the number 278 if I just open it right now if I manage to and it's just this bright orange and it's just oh my god but who would have thought I actually wore that I don't really wear it that much now but it's just something to keep in my collection when I do maybe come to wear it or something like that so that's that one so moving on we've got then we've got the baby lips that came with the latest and beauty. I haven't actually opened it yet because I haven't gotten around. I've got too many lip, lip balms open and you know you just can't open everything. I've um, got a Carmex lip balm there, um, Body Shop lip balm I love. It's Christmas. This is a Body America lip butter. Um, then I've got the Bubblegum Lush lip scrub that is, smells like candy. It's maybe a bit too much but you know I've got some Beauty So Clean Cosmetic Sanitizer Wipes at the back. Next um, little compartment here is my lip gloss compartment. It's really tiny. I have to be honest, I don't have many. I'm not a big fan of lip glosses. And the only lip glosses that I, lip gloss I've actually been enjoying is the Bobbi Brown Colorish Brilliant um, Gloss. And this is in Tutu. And you would have seen this in my previous Instagram post that I posted with the NYX. And this is just a lovely um, gloss. I'm I've been amazed with it and it's just a lovely pink, very pigmented as well if you can see. Um, it's just been one of my favourites, it's non, it's sticky but not the sticky that will annoy you and um, I normally don't like lip glosses in general. I've got a couple of co the two collection cream puffs, these are the similar to the NYX um, soft cream matte finish and as you can tell these are probably the only things that you'll probably see me wear because they do dry matte and they're more of a lipstick than a lip gloss. Um, this is just um, an NYX sheer gloss that I got in a little goodie bag from NYX back in Malta and then behind that is these are all like the Senna um, lip glosses that were in previous collections and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the first drawer. Okay, so next up is the second drawer and this is my favourite one out of maybe most of them, apart from the lipstick run. Um, this is basically where I keep all my blushes, bronzers and highlighters. So starting off with one on the side, this is all my blushes. Now I've got um, a really nice body shop blush here that was from a collection, I'm not sure if it's two or three years ago. I've got the famous MAC Stereo Rose. Uh, I've got two accessorized blushes and this was more of a highlighter which is really lovely. I've got my MAC Pink Spoon. I've got a Topshop cream blush and this is in Flush. It's a lovely cream colour. This is one of my most recent blushes from MAC and this one is called Flame and Chic and it was from Portsmouth and it was just a lovely colours. I've got just a couple of Catrice blushes here. There's just a couple of different colours like peaches, pinks and more of a brown. And then here I've got a really lovely brush from the makeup store and it's what I've been wearing recently as well. It's just a lovely like muted pink. Um, I've got really lovely Senna Cosmetics blush as well and this is like a really nice maroon kind of colour. It was lovely for like winter times and when it was like in fashion. And I've just got two in block um, blushes. One's was a bit more peachy and the ones a bit more marine kind of colours. So those have been one of my favourite colours at the moment. 
So on the opposite side of the blushes are my favourite ever and obviously they're the bronzers. Now one of, I think one of my first bronzers I ever purchased was from e.l.f. and this was the contouring blush and bronzer powder. Now as you can see um, it's obviously a bit worn out. You can see the blusher was used the most but you can see the bronzer is still intact. But this was one of my first bronzer and like trying to trying to get that contouring kind of look as everyone is. Um, this is the MAC Hibiscus Kiss that was really famous when that came out. Um, I've got two Senna um, bronzers. These are by far my favourite bronzers ever and I feel like if they shouldn't have just come out for um, a limited edition collection as I think they should have them all the time. And this is in Sunset. This is my most used ever. You can tell even that kind of the dome kind of just really got in on the side there. And they're just lovely colours. I'm going to show you Dawn as well because it's a really lovely colour. And it's just a more like a lighter shade. It has more pink to it. And I think it'd be very wearable for someone who's really not into maybe the drastic contouring like I am. Um, I've got a mineralized skin finish by MAC and this is in dark. I used to use this for bronzers as a bronzer probably last year, maybe the year before as well. I've got an Essence bronzing powder there as well. Um, an old Senna Cosmetics, um, this was like a, it's called the Double Dose Blush and Sunshine. Now this is a really old one as you can tell it's kind of broken as well. But it was a lovely um, highlighter and blush there. But I still want to keep it because I just like the packaging. And I've got two old famous by Sue Moxley. Um, these are baked bronzers. Now, my favourite one out of the mall is Bali because I remember back when Stereo Rose came out, people kind of said this kind of looked like the Stereo Rose if you couldn't get a hold of it. So I kind of picked it up. And if I just put them next to each other, I'm just going to pop that down there and get the Stereo Rose out as well, just for you guys to see. It's kind of messy at the moment, but you know. They're kind of similar. Um, I would say the Stereo Rose is a bit more peachy, but they're not. They're very similar. They're not that far, right? So I just wanted to get those out so you can guys can see them. Then on the bottom here, I've just got a couple of things. Nothing really out there. It's just I've got a shimmer powder from Essence. I've got a Catrice Prime and Prime highlight powder. I've got a Max Factor blush, and this one is in Natural and my HD brows um, in Foxy which is one of my favourite things at the moment as you can tell you can tell which one's my favourite and which is the bottom one there um, it's kind of really broken um, but I did get this palette broken when it started with but you know you still love it you still gotta love it it's still perfect colours and that's a really good highlighter for your brow bone as well so that's that one we've done the second row now we're going to go on to the next one so moving on to the third one now and this is all my foundations. So this is just an overview of what I've got here. See we've got the powders, foundations and concealers. On the side here I've got some of the MAC, my MAC face and body foundations which I tend to use more for my kit than for myself because they're more water based. Um, then here I've got some of my foundations, my more liquid foundations. Um, I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I remember when this came out they actually sent it for me, sent it to me to review. Um, I have the Max Factor foundations. I actually have one in light ivory, which is a bit too light for me, like really pale. But the one I've been using the most is the golden, which tends to be a bit more of my colour. I've got some Catrice um, foundations at the back, which I used to use a lot because they're more of my tan colours back in my water, obviously when I have more of a tan. Then here I've got um, a Kors foundation as well which I haven't used yet. It's more of a light consistency so it's more like a, a water based consistency. It has SPF 20 I'm gonna thought I was going to use this more for summer so it's just here until we get some sun or maybe when I go back home for maybe a holiday or something that I'm able to use that. So on this side here I've got the Fake Awake kit and that is by Pixie and I actually have a demo and tutorial on this so link will be down below. I've got my Chanel powder and this one is in 30 natural, it's one of the translucent one and I've got an Inglot translucent there as well. So moving on to the bottom ones here we've got some all-in-one BB cream by Body Shop. Um, let's see We've got some Collection 2000 concealers, which I've been loving, and the Senna Cosmetics Lasting Illusion Foundations. Now, I have two colours, but the one I've been really tending to go for is the one in buff, 
Now, just to I really want to show you guys the um, packaging because it's just so lovely. It's like this um, lace kind of effect to it. And it's just a lovely bottle. And it's like more like glass. So that's a really lovely colour. And it's just a lovely matte. And I tend to prefer more of a matte kind of finish than a dewy look. So that's the third drawer. Now we're going on to the fourth drawer. So on the left side here are all my eyeliners, liquid eyeliners, and I've even got a tester of their real benefit by benefit mascara there. Um, my most favourite eyeliners have to be the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. These are just amazing and they're one of my favourites. I've got one of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and this one's in yoghurt. Um, some MAC ones here and some other NYX ones. Just a couple of things there. So here we've got all of my eyeshadows, we've got some of the Sunny Cosmetics single eyeshadows, there's some really cool colours here, um, rose gold is by far one of my favourite colours, just going to show you this as well, um, it's just a lovely rose gold and I've been into all the pink colours and stuff like that, and that's just a lovely little rose gold there, um, there's some copper ones, um, more of um, an emerald, the emerald one is more of a turquoise one, I'm going to show you that as well whilst we're at it. It's just a lovely colour, it's good for under the eyes, maybe more of like a liner kind of thing. And I just like to keep them in the, in the packaging because it just looks nicer. Um, I've got the Max Factor Trios, I've got a duo from Max Factor, I've got some single um, eyeshadows from Catrice. And these are just some that I've actually picked up from home, just things that I think I'd use. got just some Inglot single eyeshadows here, I've got a base colour as well matte base colour here. They've got some Catrice, um, these are just cream coloured base kind of colours as well. So they've got a couple of colours, they've got a gold one and more of a taupey colour. Um, um, then I've got some of the colour to two by Maybelline. This one is the pink gold, the lovely colour that I really love, I haven't used it yet. But I'm looking forward to using these. Um, these were in my previous video, my boots haul, so you guys can see that as well. Um, moving on, I've got just got some palettes here as well. That's an MUA one. I've got a NYX one. This is what I'm using today. This is an NYX one. And these are the triple shadows for sexy babes eyes only. And this does yellow, pearl, antique gold, and golden. Um, I've got as well here this is and then this is the sleek eye define our natural palette and i've just got another nyx um palette down here which you can't see moving on to um just the bottom here we're just going to move into the mascara so moving on to the mascara part and um, we've got some mascaras and some eye primers and face primers so this is the Too Faced eyeshadow shadow insurance primer i've got my favorite four slash effect by Max Factor. This is just one of the Senna Volupta Lash mascaras. I've got Catrice there, I've got another Catrice mascara there. And I've got the NYX HD eyeshadow base here. Um, I've got Maybelline, I think this is a Maybelline, yeah, this is the Maybelline Great Lash mascara. Um, Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Base. And that's like more of a face primer. I've got the best. Um, product you can never have if you use gel eyeliners or anything like this is um, the Inglot Dual Line which you can help restore the gelness of um, an eyeliner. I've got the 24 hour gel eyeliner and this is the black one and this is called Timeless Black. I've got a navy blue one and I've got my MAC. This is the Black Track Fluid Line which is pretty much nearly gone there so I'm getting a new one soon. So that's that draw. So moving on to the next drawer, this is very minimal and there's hardly anything in this but obviously we're still going to add this. Um, what we've got down here is basically all my utensils, I've got an Avery Garden pencil sharpener there, I've got some eyelash curlers, I've got three, um, I've got this Catrice Lash Plus, um, it's, called, it's, it's actually an intensive lash growth serum which I still want to try out. I've got my eyelash duo and adhesive. I've got a nail buffer, I've got some tweezers and some scissors there. So sort of, I've just got a couple of bariums at the back here, I've just a couple of colours. I've got um, a clear coat and some other colours here, so it's more like um, summery colours. I've got Max Factor, like a little set here, just a couple of colours there. I've got a couple, two more I have Max Factor ones there. I've got the MUA one. 
This is an SC one. This is the pink about SC. It's a really lovely pink colour shade. And this is just another it's the pooper one. Um, here I've got just some hand creams. I've got the these are all body shoppy as you can tell. I've got the Body Shop hand Ginger Hand Cream, I've got two of those, one's actually going to my best friend because she loves it and I remember giving, getting it to her for her birthday and she loved it. This is the Hemp Hand Cream Protector which is really good for any dry skin or anything like that. I actually got that in an offer on, online and I gave the almond one to my mum. This is just a little Try Me Nugget London um, hand cream which I haven't actually used yet, it's just a sample so I just just got it there and on the side which you can't really see is just the nail polish remover just a basic super drug one so that's just a little basic it's a really empty drawer as you can tell but I just don't have many products in that one so moving on to the next drawer if this is a very big drawer I'm gonna start off let me just start off with having it half open just to show you guys so this is basically all my skincare products I've got some lush um, things here I've got dream cream moisturizer um, that's Marilyn's like a treatment hair treatment I've got the seaweed um, things from body shop which I'm loving that's a cleanser and I've got even my favorite moisturizer I'm using the body shop mattifying cream um, I've got only moisturizer in here I've got some lush these are some of the lush shampoos there as well those are the solid ones I've got a face oil I've got this is um, a Lancome um, night cream and the Body Shop uh, makeup remover, which I don't really like, which I don't really use. I just have it there just for the sake of it, actually. Um, on the side here, some of my um, body butters. I've got my favourite one, which is the coconut, as you can tell, it's like kind of really gone. And that's a coconut one. I've got the old packaging, passion fruit, and at the bottom there's a shea. I've got the honey mania. Um, satsuma there, I've got body, coconut body scrub and another coconut one there for when I do top up. On here I've got a Lush um, Fun in Gold. This one's an actually a Lush Snow Fairy Sparkle Moisturiser, just left it in there. Um, I've got the Naked um, Repairing Hair Treatment underneath there. I've got a lot of body shop things here. I've got the Ginger Sparkle um, Shower Gel coconut one coconut shower gel I've got the mango which is lovely the mango shower gel and at the back is just some moist um, a massage oil by butch shop moving on to the third from last and this is basically like a little blog kind of um, bits and bobs in this Primark um, bag here I've, make a bit, I've just got a lot of samples there and then this bag I've got lots of business cards and things like that that are either from companies or stuff like that this is just a Tangle Teaser um, packaging. In here I've got lots of res beauty receipts and um, newsletters and things to do with blogs. At the back there's just some goodies that I'm either giving away or they're for friends and family. And at the very back there's just some diaries from last year and stuff like that. And as you can see that's just a Mac Brianna um, quad that I that is brand new, I haven't used yet. Um, just deciding whether or not to give it away or to keep it. So moving on to the last two drawers and this drawer is basically where I keep all my hair dryers and straighteners and clips and whatnot. and as you can see I've got my Mark Hill um, hair dryer there I've got, I think this is a Remington Remington's curler and another straightener there which I don't really use and just a couple of things basically I just kind of keep them all in one little drawer there and then the last drawer if here if I'm just going to try and kneel down I've got my extensions there from Halo Hair Extens uh, Extensions I've just got a couple that are actually tied up so I know which one's which I've got some with three clips are tied up I've got some with two clips and with one clip so they're all like tied up in sections at the back there I've just got a little um, make bag and I've got some back to Mac goodies in here and underneath that I've got my Mac um, brush belt and underneath this little baby there is my brush brushes and then just in here are just some little thing bits and bobs and just stuff that I like to keep in there so now with the Alex drawers done, um, I'm just going to show you guys what I've got on my mic desk and this is just an overview. So I'm just going to zoom in so I can show you guys from left to right what I've got on this desk. So starting off on the left is my makeup brushes. I've just got a couple of, uh, most of my makeup brushes there. Most of them need washing so 
so that's a bit dirty there. Um, moving on, we've got the acrylic um, lipstick holder with all my MAC lipsticks in. The front um, row is basically all the limited edition. There's Limited of London, Hello Kitty, the Riri Rihanna one, we've got the Corella de Ville from the Venomous Villains and to Viva Glam. The rest are rest of most of them are all some of them are limited edition, some are not. And then we've got Pink Pearl Pop and just two lollipops just at the back there. Um, then just I've got them stacked up on some books and the Glitters and Beauty box. And then continuing on, I've got I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So moving on, I've got my little tier here with lots of things. The bottom is just a business card holder with some of my blog business cards and my makeup artistry cards as well. Um, I've just got a couple of boxes, that's just from my Access All ASOS um, box there. The green one is the Ted Baker one and this is just like a tier thing. I'm just going to try and zoom in so I can show you guys what I've got. So I thought I'd show you guys what I've got here. I've got the um, Naked 3 palette in the front, a MAC palette. And this is like a 10 blusher palette from um, eBay and then on top is just, this is like a card from um, one of my birthday cards and at the back these are all Inglot palettes all stacked up here. And then moving on we've got the cutest little, uh, this is a MAC um, bear thing that I got as a present from a lovely friend. Keisha who lives in Australia and it was a really lovely present that she gave me back for my 19th birthday. I'm currently burning the Yankee Candle Christmas cookie and I've just got a little um, flower there at the back and what you can't see as well at the moment is just my MacBook is just sitting here. I'm just going to show you what I've got in my drawer as well, so let's get into it. The last little drawer that I've got here and this is basically where I keep some bits and bobs and some really easy to get to products. Now on the side here I've got all my, like this has basically got some jewellery and things like that. So I've got some of my just studs here, I've got a perfume Travelo, these are all my obviously bobby pins. This is a really cute um, frilla, this is a USB stick and it's just so cute, it's from frilla, it's like one of those candy bags and I got that for a present for Christmas. Now USB just in case. At the back I've got some diaries. Um, that's my business card with my name on it. Some business cards from Moo.com. Um, here is just like some random um, Primark studs. Got a C, like a carry kind of C necklace. I've got a bracelet. I've got some of my favourite um, rose gold bracelets. And this was a bracelet from my previous boss. Um, we've got the Dolce & Gabbana. This is a really lovely charm bracelet. Um, rose gold watch. Another one like this. From my sister's company. Um, this is just a lovely statement necklace from Astrid and Miu. Um, at the back there, which you can't really see. I'm going to open a bit more. So at the back there I've just got some random hairstyles. I've got one well, of my favourite belts. Just some um, boxes there. And then to the side um, I've got another really lovely um, watch here, which is from a really lovely company. I will leave the link below so you guys can see it. And it's just basically like a wrap around um, yellow kind of watch there. It's really lovely. It came in this really lovely like packaging, and I think it's just gorgeous. Uh, I've got my old iPhone 3GS. Basically, I've also got my old um, multi SIM card in there. So when I do go back home, I can actually just switch this on and use that back home. And I've just got my iPhone 5 um, case there as well. So that's basically my little overview of what I've got there. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed my little makeup collection. Um, as you can see, that's basically what we've got at back here. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed watching these. I love watching these on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed watching mine. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and have a lovely day, guys. Bye! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into what video we're going to be getting into today, I just want to ask you guys what you think of the lighting.